Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the minor scales. My name is Marine and welcome to Online Rock Lessons. All right, so I'm sure that you heard about the major chord and the minor chord. Well, all of that is based on scales, minor scales and major scales. For today, we're going to talk about three different minor scales, and all the minor scales are based on a major scale. So the scale we're going to use today is the C major scale. Very simple. We don't have any sharps or flats. C major scales is all the white key right here. Now, we're going to add some numbers to each note. Very simple. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. Now let's find the sixth note of the scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have A, and this is how you find a relative minor scale. So A minor is the relative minor of C major. Now, starting from A, we're gonna use the same note as the C major scale. And this is the A natural minor scale. So we have the same note as C, but starting from a different note. So it gives us a different sound, a different vibe to it. So remember that. So now I said that we had three scales. So the second one we're gonna do is the harmonic minor scale. Starting from A again, we need a major seventh in the scale. So this one. We're gonna keep the same thing at the beginning. And instead of playing G, we need G sharp here. And as you can hear, it sounds so different. It's a different mood here. If you come from the classical world, this is usually a scale that we play right after the major scale. All right, the third one we're gonna do is the melodic minor scale. So we're gonna keep the seventh from the harmonic one, but we're also gonna have a major sixth here. And we need the F sharp in this case so a different sound here too and for the jazz version and the pop version we're gonna go back exactly the same so you do melodic up melodic down but if you want to do more classic version of it you need to go up as the melodic one and when we go down we go down as natural scale the natural minor scale here and natural. It's just a different option that you can practice. Now, let's do some example to make sure that you understand how to find all these scales. So we're going to start from G major scale. G major has an F sharp here. So we need to remember that one. And now we said that to find the relative minor, we need the sixth note of the major scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's E minor right here. So if I start from here, I need to keep the F sharp. So for the natural minor scale, we remember we have the exact same note as the major scale. So from E, we would have, there you go. This is the natural minor scale as easy as that. Now for the harmonic minor, we need to have a major seventh. So the last one here, D would go to D sharp and it sounds like this. And back down. And for the melodic minor, we keep the D sharp and we add a major sixth that is C sharp here. And back for the jazz version right here. And if I do the classical version, I go down with the natural here like this. All right, let's do another one. So F major scale. F major has a B flat in the key signature here. So I need the sixth note of this scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one would be D, D like this. So if I keep the same note, 
from the F major scale, I would have B flat. And that's the natural minor scale. Just like this. What about the harmonic minor? We need C becoming C sharp. And we can hear the harmonic minor sound. And what about the melodic minor? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is where the B flat needs to go back to B natural because we need a major six in this case. So we would have C sharp and back just like this. And what about the classical version? Well, we can do this and back down natural. It's a bit of a mind twist here. So it's a good exercise to work on all three of them. So just let's recap. To find a minor scale, we need to start from the sixth note of a major scale. And now if we use the same notes, we have the natural minor scale. If we add a major seven, we have the harmonic minor scale. And if we add the major six and the major seven, we have the melodic minor scale. And if you want to do the last one, the classical version, you go up as melodic scale and you go down with the natural minor scale. So make sure that you practice them both hands and you try on new keys. So pick any major scale and try to find the three minor scales. And if you have more questions that I haven't talked about, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. And visit our website at onlinerocklessons.com to see more about the courses, the membership, and we have many courses on scales. So have fun and have a good practice.